the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back into Medieval Dynasty. All right, everybody. Thank you for stopping through. Glad to see you back again once again, man. Glad everybody has been enjoying the series and showing a lot of love. Thank you for the comments, guys. Thank you for the information, for the tips. Really, really appreciate it. All right. So what we're going to do today, we got to finish up this barn. As you can see, I'm almost done with the barn, and we're going to get this finished. I wanted to get this done before the end of autumn. I had actually built some other buildings and the life of a content creator. I ended up dying. I didn't eat enough. My energy went down. I just fell out in the middle of the, the, middle of the road and didn't know what was going on. And because I fell out, yeah, that was it. And I hadn't saved. And the game auto saves, but it didn't auto save. So I was like, oh man, I can't believe this. So I had planned to put everything uh, back prior to, but um, just so I can show you guys, but such is not the case. And I want to get this barn done before the, uh, like I said, before the end of the season, I want to try to run the town. So if I can lay it out the way I laid it out before, I will. Um, I had put a sewing area right here. I had put a field right here. Since the barn is going here, I put the field here because we're also going to put a, uh, you know, have the farming and whatnot as well. Uh, since we have the farm coming along so nicely, we got that field over there and the barn will be used for duties that are in alignment with farming, you know, getting the grains right and things of that nature. I wanted to, you know, have that ready. And then I was also going to put the, uh, the woodshed up there, but again, <laughs> things happen uh, let's look at it from the outside let's look at it from the outside bam 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 chapter six a big game okay i'm gonna get the bow that's exactly what i was gonna do make a bow okay we can hunt some deer should be easier hunt a wolf hunt a vincent and a bear the vincent uh that must be like the buffalo so yeah, we're gonna get the bow. Now we need the sewing to even be able to make the bow, if I'm not mistaken, because one of the things we need is in there. But let's see what we can make on this barn workbench. Okay, animal feed and dow. Uh, I guess that looks like straw and clay. Oh, I found a clay deposit. Okay, resource for upgrading waddle and wooden walls. Okay, can be crafted in a barn. Okay. They should come with like something in the chest. Like that would be a uh, dope. Ooh, a quern flour for rye flour flour oh, oat grain wheat grain rye grain Ooh, it's like a flour meal oh what is that threshing floor ah wheat grain oat grain flax a crafting and cooking resource can be crafted on the threshing floor needs a bag for sewing it on the field okay so is that oh okay Okay, I guess that said crafting and cooking. For crafting and cooking. Basic resource for cooking, cooking. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, what did I wanna run a town for? I wanted to run a town to sell some things. I was gonna craft some spears. Now, I need to just sell to make some money and I need some food. The meat I've been getting, I need to just do a super hunting expedition. But it just hasn't been enough. I need to get to where I can cook some real meals that's why I was hoping the farming that I did, which was supposed to yield, would yield something. But it hasn't yielded anything. I mean, look at this. I don't know. What is that carrots? Can I? Ah, oh, man. I could have collected these. I did not know, y'all. Oh, why ain't y'all tell me? Why ain't y'all tell me? Is it like that over here, too? Man, I had this other one over here, and I dug it up because I thought I didn't get anything. Now, this, I planted onions. This must not... This either didn't uh sow or properly or harvest properly or since i didn't pro harvest it since i didn't harvest it in the season it's when it went to the next season i missed it or something now i know i need a scythe for this 
and I think there's a site that I can actually lift off the town. Ooh, so let's go on and run down here. But yeah, I had a big farm I made right here, a, a, a field for farming, the farmland, and the sewing joint. I'm going to put that back, but we're going to have to get some logs. You know what? Let's go on and do that. Then we'll run the town. They should still be up. I actually collected some logs. Bam. We are over encumbered, but that's okay. That is okay. And I might need to make a few more spears. I might need to take a, a, some logs with me to craft a few more spears. Uh, I believe that's under crafting. And let's go ahead and get our sewing joint. Yeah, there we go. That's a house. So somebody that may live there may work out of the sewing joint. I had found a spot. There it is. I wish you could raise it up and down, but you can't. But it will do it on its own. So we're gonna do it right there, bam. Cool, cool, cool. Aw oh, man, I hope they don't get like stuck on them rocks trying to get in there though. I gotta figure out how to take this. I demolished this before, destroyed it, but I should have downgraded it first because I lost like all of the parts. If you just destroy it, you just lose everything. I, you probably saw that in an earlier episode. You at least need to downgrade it and it'll remove, it removes the upgrade, leaving the basic materials of the wall. Oh, okay, nope, downgrading doesn't do that then either because it would take this stuff down, so no. All right, well, I thought it was some way to, uh, to get some of it back. Does it? Nah, that doesn't work. Well, anyway. Anyway, anyway, it anyway. Let's go ahead and run to the town. How many spears do I have? One, two, three, and a torch. Okay, I had already crafted these and this knife to sell. Mm, and I want to, like I said, I want to craft things because you get crafting skill. But I don't want to use all of the logs. I actually collected these joints. So I kind of want to keep them. You know what? I'll go ahead and take a few. We can get more. Okay, I'm going to do a spear. And then I will also build... We'll do two hammers. Not sure which one sells for more, the hammers or the, the hoe. It might be the hoe, but it's all good. All right, let's get over here to the town. And let's sell these. And we'll start on our next chapter after we get the boat. Uh, the boat, the boat, uh, the boat. Whoa, look at Unigos looking crazy with the lighting. Show me your wares. Now, I could buy a scythe off him, but I want to make my own. Okay, he got 775. The nutrition condition is 200%. Oh, the condition is 200%. I wonder why that is. Why is that one so much more than this one? I don't know. All right, but let's get off that. We're going to sell both of those. Well, all of those. I should keep one for protection, but we're going to go ahead and sell it for that money. It's going to sell that hammer. So a couple of those was going to sell that torch. All right. I'm going to go down here and I do need to just craft all of my food or hunt all of my food. Try to find your lady. I don't remember her name, but she's the one that also sells. I think it's Adelina. Isn't she the, like the innkeeper lady? Oh no, she only sells seeds. Somebody was selling meals. All right, we got two people up in Nya. Oh, let me pull out my torch. My bad, y'all. Forgot about my torch. Show me your ass. Okay, egg, meat. He does sell meat. I did want to get some manure for the field. Animal feed. Okay. Shadow new newer. Yeah, okay, she got the food. She got the food. Let me go on and get a couple flatbreads. Now, flatbread give you 40 nutrition, and it only costs 12. These only give you 20, but they cost more, so we're not going to get that. Yeah, flatbread is the only thing I'm going to get. I'm going to get five of those, and it weighs less. Okay, we'll just do five of those. That should get me where I need to be. Can't jump the fence. All right, cool. We got us some food. Let's eat a couple of these real quick. See what it do. Oh, yeah. That makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
flatbread. That's something we got to figure out on the menu. Now, I would like to buy some onion. They all might be sleep. I do want to buy, like, some loose onions, though. Now, I came back here to Adelina. I do want to buy... Okay, they don't have any loose onions. I want to buy some loose onions. That I can cook with the meat that I have, but... No worries. No worries. All right, cool. So we are heading back. That flatbread definitely helped. I'm going to still try to hunt and get some more meat and do some of that on my own. But that did definitely, definitely help. So let's see what all we have right now. We have, okay, we got a resource storage. We got the barn, the workshop, the sewing, which I will build up in a moment. Uh, we have the hunting lodge up there. What I need to build from what we have or what we don't have is the wood shed up in the woods, food storage. We don't have food storage yet. We're gonna put that right here close. So what we need next basically is food storage and we need the wood shed. The wood shed, of course, I can do up there in the forest. I'll be right by all the logs so I can chop that down. So yeah, I think I left eight, so I should be able to do the food storage now. I'm thinking our food storage needs to be basically in the middle of the town. I'm gonna move our farming field over here, right beside this house for someone who may be working there and just make it a nice size field and people will be able to put the food right in there as they harvest the crops. I'm gonna either do one big field or I'm gonna do like a couple separate fields. I'm not sure which to do, which works better for the people working in the field. Uh, maybe, maybe doing two would be better. Maybe doing two would be better. Let me get these branches real quick, kind of get these out the way. It's a nice little convenient bush. Maybe I do it behind this bush. That way those will always grow back. And I really don't like the, the angle that they make the fields go. Like that is, that's bad. So I made one field a four by four. And then I'm gonna put another one beside it. Again, the angles that they made these are really, really bad. It, it You should be able to rotate with the field. Or if you can't rotate the field, the house should not be able to rotate, you know? And then that would solve that so people wouldn't put bad angled fields and houses. What? I got poison. How did I get poison? It just said I was poison, not the blue. What in the world? You are poison. It you just poisoned like where does that come from all right guys it's the first day of winter it's the first day of winter and we were poisoned but there was no indication but okay whatever we got rest i'm fully nourished i am fully uh hydrated so hey we gonna roll with it uh what i was doing before i just fell out <laughs> to why it's that baffles me but okay we were putting down a field so let me put down a second field i gotta do it over just a little bit one two three four two fields it's a little gap in between hopefully the people will be able to walk through they'll be able to farm these two i'm gonna start with two and if we need to do another one i'll take it back this way because I do plan to put the food storage right here. Hopefully that will sit. So we're gonna go ahead and put our food storage down as well. Should be enough resources right here. Up, oh, we too short. Life is too short. Anything I can get off me, sticks, straw. Find some logs that I chopped, where are they at? Man, I had chopped logs. Did they despawn or something? I thought they didn't despawn. Ah, oh, man, I think some of that wood I chopped despawn. That is trash. They need to let you know about that, man. <sighs> Everything is breaking all at once. I really don't want to chop the logs that are close to where my forestry will be. Do they chop down the trees? Do y'all know that? Can you hit me in the comment box and let me know? 
once you do put up a uh, woodshed, do they actually chop the trees down or is it just more cosmetic? And as long as there are a bunch of trees around them that you don't chop down, you should be good. I was wondering about that. So we're going to place, a, and also hopefully it ain't on that town limit. You know, you can only put certain things so close. Our food storage might be in front of this house if I can't put it right here. Let's see if they say this is too close to the town for the food storage. Okay, no, it hasn't given the town message, bam. I actually wanna put that, okay, closer to the road. That's as far close as we can get. All right, we're gonna put that right there, bam. Food storage. Oh, guys, I meant to put it on this side, doggone it. Do I wanna waste those logs? I wanted to put it right here by the resource storage and by the barn so people don't have to walk over here for the food storage. Doggone it, I just wasted eight logs. And there is no way to get them back. If the temperature is too high or too low, it will make you lose life parameters. You need to wear weather appropriate clothes if you want to avoid it. You can also take shelter in your home or at a campfire if you're too cold. Holding out a torch also increases your temperature. Okay, so I need a torch badly because we are cold. We are freezing. Okay, so that's cool that weather affects too. Why don't they put the torch in the slot automatically? I don't like that. You gotta do it every time yourself and that's whack juice. Okay, so the torch should keep us warm. Huh, guys, what do you think? Food storage, leave it there or move it over here on the other side of our farm. I really, that's gonna bother me. I'm gonna have to move that. I'm gonna have to move that. Cause that is gonna bother me. I wanted it there. And let's see under management. I got a 12 building limit. So what I'm gonna do is go chop some more trees and I'm gonna see if I can place a food storage on this side. If I can, I will tear that current one down. Now do different animals come out in winter? I was wondering that also. All, all the animals out the same way they would normally be out. I mean, if I left food storage right there, that mean I could make this feel bigger if I needed to and expand it further over this way. Food storage would be right by the creek too. No, I want my food storage right there. If it needs to be somewhere else, it'll just have to be somewhere else. But no, that's what we want. So that's what we gonna do. Dad learned it. All right, guys. So I did get food storage to place right here. And it's right by um, my resource storage and the barn on the other side of where I planted crops. And actually, because I put it further down there, we could expand this field if we needed to. And this would just all be big farmland once we get more people in here for farming. And we'll probably be expanding our village this way by the creek and across the creek. Uh, people will be living that creek life, you know, living on the water like they on the beach. So yeah. So this other one that I got, I'm either going to leave it there just to see what happens or if something else that I need to craft I know that that's a placeable spot, so I may end up breaking it down for that. I don't want to waste it yet. I feel the town may get big enough that we need two food storages, and then we'll use that second one. Somebody let me know, though, if you're far enough along, if two storages ever become necessary, or do I just need to go in and tear that down and end up, you know, I could put a house right there or something in the future, all right? So the other thing I want to do is we do want to get this sewing station completed because we do want to make a bow and arrow. We may not get to do the hunting this episode. Um, we'll try, but if we can't, we'll get it in in the next one. But we'll get our bow done before we get done, all right? So let me go ahead and get some of these resources together. It's cold out here. It's cold out here. 
all right guys so we're gonna finish up the sewing station i have all the parts and pieces and check this out i would have been done even sooner if i hadn't have went here first thinking it was a sewing station and put up all these walls before i realized that this is the food storage that we're gonna tear down for that food storage so <laughs> yeah and that can happen i was like dad blurned it but anyway we're gonna finish up this wattle wall right here and this thatch roof bam and now the sewing station is complete let's see Ooh, collars hoods heads tunics shirts leg do i want a tunic hose joint hose pants with wraps pants okay the tech isn't unlocked oh that's right i do have to uh pay and unlock those i might rock me a tunic now i'm trying to see do we have is these underclothes or are these just legs then a simple bag a container many different things i already made one of those okay we can make all of these we can just make them here okay hands Oh yeah, and where is it that we just make linens? Where is it that we just make linens? Ah, okay, right here. On the loom, okay. Linen fabric, wool fabric. Okay, so I have no linen thread. Ah, here we go, the spinning wheel. So linen thread, flax stalk. Okay, so we gonna have to grow flax or once we get sheep, I think I have some flax that I bought, but we definitely gonna need to, we're definitely gonna need to make some of this. I got flax seed, spring, summer, autumn, summer, okay. Oh, carrots can be planted in the winter. I did not know that. And in fact, I got these carrots. Now, is there any way to get seeds from these oh i wonder if i got these carrot seeds when i pluck these carrots ah, and we got a nice amount too look i didn't even realize i could be uh had those carrots on me that's some that's some nourishment right there that's some nourishment now i also need to do that food storage right there i'm getting cold um since it's winter you do have to stay warm but you can do so with a torch I'm going to craft this torch. And again, it is stupid that every time you craft a torch. Oh, I still have a good torch on me. Every time you craft a torch, you got to put it back in the slot. Like, that is the dumbest thing ever. You don't have to do it with your other items, your other tools, but you have to do it with that. I, I don't get it, but. Okay, we still have logs on us. I have a skill point. We'll distribute that in a second. So again, I got the house, oh, the woodshed. We need the woodshed storages. I have the resource storage, I have the food storage. We have the barn. We have the hunting lodge. We have the workshop and, uh, we have the workshop and the smithy. All right, so I'm gonna either have to find some flax seed or buy some for now so that I can make what I need for the bow. And let me go to the hunting lodge. Is this the hunting lodge? Oh, I put the hunting lodge up there near the animals. Let's run up here real quick. I haven't seen any boar or warthogs. They're usually hanging up here near the hunting lodge. Hadn't seen any yet. Except for them two that jumped me that time. Alright, so we need linen thread. Oh, we only need one linen thread and one log. One linen thread and one log. Okay. So we just have to get enough flaxseed to make one linen thread. And let's check one more time just to see what the requirement was for that. Uh, flax stalk 10. So we need 10 flax stalks to make one linen thread, it looks like. 
All right, 10 flag stocks. So we'll buy that tomorrow. What time is it? We They may still be up. I don't think they go to bed till like 12. Cause let's see, 24, yeah, that would be 12. So we might be able to buy a flag stock right about now. Uh, let me distribute this point real quick to my skills. Uh, we have two points, survival knowledge, stronger than oak 10 percent slower loss of food and water i may do that i was gonna go ahead and, and top off this survival knowledge yeah i think the next thing will be getting this survivalist up because we need to slow this down as much as we can i'm gonna go ahead and do survival knowledge though i kind of want to speed up wooden and stone the crafting of wooden and stone objects but we'll go ahead and do this now because we plan on crafting a lot more See, this is 10 p.m. So we're going to see if they're still up. If they're not, uh, you know, whatever. I'm going to see if somebody's still up that I can buy some flax seed for them. Or some flax. Show me your ass. You don't have what I want. Please move. Show me your ass. You also don't have what I want. Uh, do they get back? Ooh, she does replenish the flatbreads. I'm going to have to keep buying those flatbreads. I'm just going to need more stuff to sell her. Because those flatbreads are absolutely worth it. Now, one log, as much as it takes, is only worth one. Yet, sticks are worth the same. That makes no sense that you get the same amount for sticks as you do logs, as much as logs cost. But we're going to buy this flatbread. Flatbread is going to be our thing. You get 40 nutrition for 12, where these other ones, you only get 20 and they cost more, 25 and they cost more, 30 and they cost more. Yeah, flatbread is the way to go. Uh, let me. Oh, cause you know what? I wanna make sure I got enough money to, <laughs> oh, even straw. Even you earn more for straw than you do for logs. Yeah, that's crazy. I need that straw though, but let me make sure we have enough to buy this flax if we can get it. Ah, uh, yes. Unigost has it. Oh, but you get, do you get 10? Okay, Unigost has it. I'm gonna have to sell some more items to, to be able to afford this, even if I sold everything that was on me. I wouldn't have enough. Okay, so we're going to get five now, and then what I'll do, I'll just come back. I'm going to go out here, find some other things to sell, and we'll just come back in the morning. He ready to go home anyway. Look, if I talk to him, he probably won't even stop. Yeah. So I am going to go, and I'm going to make some tools, and then we'll come back in the morning, and we'll buy the rest of that flax from him. Why does it sound like that duck was just like in my pocket though? Ah, uh, dog on it. So guys, hit me in the comment box. Hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that like button for me guys, okay? And I will continue to play this. Uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed. Share this so others can check this out guys, all right? And hit me in that comment box. Again, let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you're enjoying the game. And let me know if you feeling it. All right. Charles Macro, Medieval Dynasty. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.